Welcome back to Fired Up Garage. We are up here in the Smoky Mountains and uh, we're doing a quick review for you on this Stowaway 2 cargo box that we've got on the back of the Durango here. It's in my family. It's in my blood. For a hundred years we've been firing them up. Uh, we've taken this thing on a couple of trips now, a couple thousand miles up in the mountains, uh, down at the beach, uh, in rain, hot weather, all kinds of different stuff. And so we're going to give you a quick review of the features of this box and also how we have uh, enjoyed this actually our second one of these stowaway boxes and see if it's something that maybe you should get one of so uh, thanks for joining us check it out so we'll start out right here this box is lockable and you can see that it has uh, kind of a combination here this is the latch so uh, the latch is this uh, rod on both sides that actually latches into the top there. So a pretty substantial latching system. And then it's got a key lock underneath that so you can lock it out so that people can't uh, open that. Then uh, also another feature, a lot of people talk about whether or not these uh, boxes that they use are waterproof. This one we have had, like I said, a couple thousand miles on the back of the car in uh, some pretty bad storms and have never had any water. Uh, come into the box and I think that's probably because of this uh, you know the lid is kind of this full clamshell lid that wraps around and then the only place you could possibly get some leakage is in this trough but they've actually bored drain holes here that go all the way through to the body and out the other side so any water that gets caught in this trough here isn't going into the box it's going to run out through these uh, leap holes or drain holes down along the top there. So like I said, we've used this a bunch of times. I've never had any water in it, even uh, while it's on the car in a bad storm, all those kind of things. So it's been working great for us. It does have a plug down here in the bottom of the box. So you can uh, rinse the thing out. So if you haul a bunch of river stuff in it or go to the beach or whatever, and you get it full of sand or uh, just needs to be cleaned out, you can rinse the whole box out there. But this one is uh, equipped with the LED lights. Um, I had, this is the second one that I've had. The first one didn't have the LED lights. I ended up uh, paying the extra for those because the first one, uh, it looked like I, I think they, the bulbs were getting a little hot from all the stuff packed against it. So I went ahead and went with the LED to get rid of the heat in those light fixtures. Um, the first one, like I said, that I had was a fixed mount, which was okay, but I really didn't like that I couldn't get into the back door on the SUV on these trips. And so this time we opted for the swing away mount. You can see the swing away mount system here. It's pretty substantial. It goes underneath the box with this heavy, probably two and a half inch uh, steel bar uh, underneath it here. Uh, and so it's this uh, fully you know, box channel that's going underneath. You can see it wrapping under the box there. And then you'll also see we have heat shields on this one. That's because we have dual exhaust on this Durango and with rear exiting dual exhaust they do recommend that you put on the heat shields to keep the heat from the exhaust from uh, coming up and hitting the box because they uh, note that it will sometimes warp the boxes if you don't put those on there so we've got that and then if you want to use the swing away feature on it it's really easy they uh, run the cables long enough so you actually don't even have to unplug it any of the wiring from it but you'll just loosen that up there and over here on the other side, we've got a pin to pull. This is just a safety stop that you can pin it so it doesn't uh, swing away while you're driving or something like that. You can see this is the stowaway too. Handles on the side there. So we unscrewed this and then we pulled the uh, safety pin out on the other side. Then the actual latch is here. So you're gonna pull up on this lever here. And then the whole thing swings away. Swings away really easy. I'm doing that with a couple fingers. And then you'll be able to see, we can actually open the uh, rear hatch on the Durango here with the box still on. So you can put more stuff in the back. So this is, I think about a $200 or maybe $150 upcharge, but it is well worth it. Uh, if you have a SUV or anything that you can use the back doors on a van, anything like that, you're gonna want the swing away uh, feature. You can see one of the heat shields stays on the mount 
one of the heat shields is on the box just because of the way the swing away works on it. But really solid mount here. You can see this is heavy duty steel. Another feature of this box is that it actually has the uh, lights right on the back of the box. That's because this is a really large box and so it will cover up your tail lights. It uh, actually has, uh, so both tail lights. It also has a license plate light on it as well. And all those plug in with a harness. And uh, so then you have your brake lights and everything like that. So they're not covered up on the back of it. Also, you will mount your license plate on the box itself because your license plate on your vehicle will be covered at that point. So here again, you can see the uh, swing away feature on it. Swings really easy. You can swing it just with, uh, that's two fingers there. It moves pretty easy. And uh, to latch it, you're just gonna pull it back this way. And all you do is just press it back into that latching system. Then you're gonna tighten this bolt here and uh, then drop the pin in from the other side. So real easy to swing it out. You can do it in th probably 30 seconds or less. Makes it really nice to get into that back door as well. It does have handles here on the side of the box so you can carry it. We actually made a cart for this one because as you can see, it's kind of a large box. So we store it in one of our sheds. We made a cart for it so that we can set the whole thing on a cart and just roll it around in the driveway uh, and back to the place where we store it. There you can see the cart that I made for this. Uh, you can't really carry this box by yourself, except for maybe a couple feet if you really need to. Uh, it's big, heavy, awkward. And so I made this cart. It's just some two by sixes. You can see I've got two of the two by sixes upright on it. That kind of makes a skid. Uh, and then this has uh, just uh, Harbor Freight casters underneath of it. And so it rolls around nice and easy two of the fixed casters and two of the swivel casters so I can steer it. And this skid is uh, sized so that it fits right underneath the metal uh, portions of this uh, stowaway box. So you got the plastic box up top, but then underneath you got this metal frame that the box sits on top of. So I designed the skid so that that metal frame sits directly on top of the skid. And then usually I throw one strap over it, I just a ratchet strap over it, strap it on there, then I can wheel it around. I store it in one of the sheds and uh, that makes it easy to move. It is kind of large and awkward. So one person, uh, it's really tough to carry with one person. So you need either two people or some kind of cart. You could use a furniture dolly or something like that if you want to move it around. But overall, we have loved this box. I highly recommend it. Like I said, if you uh, have a back door that you're going to use at all on your SUV or van or whatever, get the swing away mount. Um, we actually had the fix mount first, sold that, and then purchased the swing away mount and love it 10 times better for uh, what we use it for. So I would recommend spending the extra money on that one. Also, you can do other things, upgrades to it. I got the LED lights on this one, like I said, and there are some other upgrades that you can do to it as well. And you do need some tools to get this on and off. So we keep a bag with uh, the crescent wrench in there to take off the hitch tightener. Also uh, in there, we keep a couple of screwdrivers because you do have to move your license plate onto the box when you're using it. And we just keep all that stuff handy here so we don't have to go look for it every time and take it with us on the trips. And one more thing to consider here, we got the locking hitch pin. This one just uses a little barrel key. I think these are like 30 bucks or something like that but a worthwhile investment because without this, uh, with the hitch pin that you get in the uh, stowaway kit when you buy it, it's just the regular hitch pin and someone can just pull that uh, clip off of there, pull the hitch pin and they can take your box away. And with these boxes being 750 or 900 bucks, you don't want that to happen. So this is a pretty good investment here for uh, 30 or 40 bucks. Now you may be wondering, how does it affect the uh, towing? Do you feel it back there? Do you feel any wind or uh, turbulence from the box? Do you feel the weight back there? We haven't noticed any of that. It's uh, just like you're driving with nothing on the back. It drives great, pulls great, no noise. It's quiet, uh, no shake, no rattle, no roll, none of that stuff. So what's our final conclusion on this one? We love it, highly recommended. You know, you see the other cargo rooftop carriers and uh, other rear hitch mount boxes. A lot of times uh, the rear hitch mount boxes we see are flimsy, look like they're kind of folding in or the people got all their ratchet straps thrown all over them trying to keep them on. None of that with this one. Waterproof, 
nice and solid, no issues. Also, uh, with a lot of the rooftop boxes, we have seen where they're cracked uh, or broken. We saw one on this strip where uh, somebody had a whole bunch of duct tape covering the front of it because that plastic was so cheap. No problem with that on this box either. Also, it's just a lot nicer to throw stuff in from the back instead of having to climb onto the roof every time to try and throw all the stuff in. So highly recommended, I would say. If you're looking for a cargo box, definitely consider the Stowaway 2. Uh, we love this one, and I think you'll love it as well. Keep firing them up. Thank you.